Welcome to Sequest. Day two of trying. First serious day of trying. Um, assuming there are unlimited continues, as I believe, uh, we should be able to beat this tonight. I hope. Renegades have been sinking E. I'm sorry, I always mess that up. U E O cargo ships containing canisters filled with radioactive material. You've got to recover the canisters to save the ocean's ecosystem and prevent the renegades from using the atomic material for making weapons. Use sonar to find salvage destinations for the sea quest. <clears throat> what doesn't make sense about this story is if they have all these canisters, why hide them all over the ocean and then make weapons? Why not just make the weapons since you have the canister? Anyway, off we go. We got a ways to go. I don't think I have to destroy those things actually. I just have to not get hit by them. The main goal is to not get hit. Oh man, that's far. We're going far this time. having to go this far for the first mission before. I wonder what's... And... There we go. Dog's playing with his bone upstairs. Uh, we've located one of the sunken UEO freighters. The damaged ship is unstable, so you'll have to send in the HR probe after the canisters. Okay, I have done this one. Been so far away though. Extra life. Kind of like go down and around, I think it's the best. So the bomb right hand corner tells you how many canisters and whatnot you have to collect. Oh, something there. Someone over here though. Okay, not taking any damage. Well, that's a little bit, but that's not too bad. The electric eel skin will, like, repair your hull, which is interesting. But don't destroy the eels themselves. this level now. Oops. Uh, I need eight more. Got 
gotta be something over here, right? And then the CLK is your timer. That's, that's, that's how much time you have to oops, capture everything. Now I could use some eel help. Actually, I might not. Hold on. Three more. Ooh. Come on. I don't fully remember where they are. Oh, good. Damn it. That thing's like respawning, and then the bubbles are like throwing me way up in there. I'm trying to, uh,. In it. I'm gonna die. There we go. Find the right exit. Cutting that way too close, but we're out. Bit of time to get there. Okay, uh, we are close, but I don't want to. Problem is, okay, you have to kind of like. Okay, I, I don't want to get destroyed in the meantime. You know what I mean? Because if you're sitting while the guy goes towards the the goal, then your ship has a chance of blowing up, which is not good. Welcome, new bro. How are you? Welcome back in. Um, yeah, I'm in the U.S. I'm in Chicago. It's about as specific as I'll get with the, the location side of things. For my job, I do um, basically client account management work for a software company. So I work from home for a company that my friend started. I've been doing it for about 10 years now. Um... So it's, it's enjoyable at times, stressful at times, depending. But yeah, how about you? All right, so I'm in mission two. Uh, Sequest is much larger than the caves. Got to send a diver in there. I did this one yesterday as well, so I pretty much know what to expect on this. Don't destroy the sharks. Do destroy the other stuff. Yeah, no problem.
it's always weird to think about how many different types of jobs there are out in the world. A lot of people do things you would never think are careers. And I don't know if I'd say what I do is a career, but it's been keeping me keeping me employed for a while, so I'm good with that. Oh, nice. Are in California? Very cool. That has to be an extremely busy and stressful job right now. I don't deal with RNs specifically. I deal with, like, you know, um, software companies in the medical field, but... We deal with a lot of different types of providers. I just hear a lot of stories about how overworked RNs are. And really probably just the medical field in general, but... Underappreciated. Many times. Uh-oh. Hopefully I'm not losing connection. Okay, good. So the goal of this level... Really quickly, is I have to get all these canisters by using my little diver guy. Um, the sharks will eat me if I let them get close. Those divers will shoot me if they're facing in my direction when I cross their path. And so I have to shoot them. Uh, the manual says do not kill the sea life and you're going to get a bonus. I don't know if that just means points or if that means I'll get like a easier time in the rest of the game. I don't... I don't know. Uh, but I have nine more canisters to collect. Those are mines, which I can shoot out of the ocean, but they do respawn if I backtrack. And then occasionally there will be a ship I have to destroy. And my whole damage is the ship's life. If that runs out, then I lose a life. Uh, if my guy gets hit by anything once, he is dead. And you got to do the entire level all over again. That's one of the beautiful things about my job, is that I don't know any programming language. I just know how to project manage, and I know how to talk to people well enough in a business setting. <laughs> so that's all that I need for my job. I don't have to program the stuff, I just have to be able to talk about what our company can do. <laughs> so it makes it nice and easy. But yeah, learning a different skill is certainly not a bad thing. Even within the, uh, the, the nursing world, you could probably find a way to make it work for you pretty well. There are a lot of doctors who develop software, or build devices, and so possibly like pair up with, pair up with somebody and, um, do some coding for them. Could be a little fun side project. I have to wait for this mine to go through. Those torpedo things, as far as I can tell, they only show up if you, um, if your ship stays dormant for too long. And they only appear in certain spots, depending on where you are on the map. This is what I learned yesterday when playing for a couple hours. And trying this level over and over again, and not fully understanding what I was doing wrong at the end. It's a very slow level. Oops. Okay, so yeah, this one I have to keep the ship at the top, because the missiles will come in the middle sections this time. So I'm gonna wait for the shark.
Oh, I forgot there is this one. Uh... Oh, this is gonna be a slog. Oh man, I'm too far away. Makes it even worse. It looks like I can get in, but I can't. Now what makes this dangerous is that um, those missiles can also come into this inner area. Okay, we're good so far. Uh, but I've died by those missiles before. Appearing where I'm trying to avoid the shark and they just come after me. A little bit of luck. At least my ship is nice and maneuverable. Almost done. So we gotta wait for that thing to blow up that rock. I always forget about that guy. Now I'm gonna wait for this one to explode. It's not gonna come all the way up. I got the last one. Now we're about to come to the part which I found the trickiest. So I had no idea what to do. There's this this big boulder and I cannot destroy it on my own. I tried going at it all kinds of different angles and just throwing a bunch of missiles, both human and ship, does not budge. Um, but there's this whale here. So I was trying to interact with the whale but anytime I touched it, my guy died. So you cannot touch him. What you have to do, even though the manual says, do not kill the wildlife, you have to shoot it and then get out of the way. So it'll come and break the thing. And now, get in your ship. I tried backtracking the entire way through the level, thinking, okay, well, maybe that's the the eco-friendly way to do it, but nope, that's not what the game wants you to do. You have to exit this way. Uh, where's my next objective? We're close. We are close. So use my sonar to learn. Aha, I gotcha. I don't know if those subs come back. Oh, we got No, that's not it. Okay, okay, I get it. Now yeah, I just wanna I won't put myself into too much danger. Here we go. Uh oh the trench. Okay. So this is this is good and bad, I guess. Um I have not beaten this level yet. So I've only beaten those first two levels and then another one that we haven't seen yet. The, the levels are kind of random ordered. There's another one that's called Meltdown, which is basically just like a shooter, like a mini shooter level. Um, but I think the fact that we have not seen that yet is a good sign because the manual says you could possibly encounter the Meltdown section twice, depending on 
other factors, I guess, randomization of the, the, the thing. I don't know. Um, but this is another one where I, I know how to find all this stuff. So yeah, these jellyfish, the white jellyfish will give you fuel and the black ones will take away fuel, which I commented yesterday is racist. And um, if you have too much fuel, then you'll also destroy the shuttle. And uh, at the end, there's a nice little surprise to the level. And there's like thrust mechanics you have to deal with and these squids that will destroy you. And then there's also hull damage that you have to worry about taking as well from... So you use your A for your thrust, and then you hit B to uh, do this little electric thing, which will... Oh, jeez. Okay, this is not good. Okay, we're good. The electric thing will get rid of the jellyfish. So you let the fuel build up enough, and then you can just let them... make them let go. And there's plenty of jellyfish to go around, which is which is pretty nice in this level. And they'll also respawn, so. Pretty sure I got everything over there. Oh no, I didn't get this one. Alright. They also act as a nice little, like, stopper for you, in a way. These plus signs are not good. They are like mines, they will destroy your hull. think plus signs would be good and like you know replenish health or something but no you need to avoid those can get some of your health, um, health back pretty soon. I'll show that from these guys. Guys that shoot you, if you run into them, they'll repair some hull, but obviously their shots will also damage your hull. Am I missing? Like this guy, he he shoot me if he saw me, but he doesn't see me, so I'm just gonna let him replenish my health. And then this guy right here, whoops, close enough. All right, so my fuel is low, but that's okay because I'm about to get like full fuel in a second. How? This is the part that I don't know how to do. Escape from this thing. I honestly don't know for sure if I have to activate it.
I went the wrong way. Yeah, the general idea here is going to be you have to get back up and out. So I might as well try one without um, activating that monster and see what happens. Oh jeez, just hurt myself too much there. Come on, get up. This is dangerous because that's going. Yeah, that does just come right for me. Shoot. I'm dead. Wow, I took damage there? That's not cool. Oh. I always misjudge where that one is. Have. Oh no, I'm missing this one. Okay. I think I missed that one last time too, so. Probably a good thing I didn't live. I wonder if that's a possible strategy, it's like leaving some of these for the way out. Um, I think it will all depend on whether or not it's okay. To not activate that monster. Shit, that's almost leading me right into it. Okay. Much better this time.
Oh, you know what? I bet I do. I think I do have to activate him because otherwise I won't have enough fuel to get back up. And then all these obstacles also kind of... Yay, I made it. First time. Oh, I hurt myself like a dumb dumb. Okay. done this one before. This is the one that I was talking about before. This is going to be new to me. Whatever is whatever's coming up next is going to be new. Okay. Let's see here. I also do have the manual, right? So let me uh, also read what the manual is going to say about this one. The caves in enemy, enemy territory are well defended. Darwin can hold his own down there while the speeder takes out the enemy. I'm gonna pause. Press control. Press and hold A to control Darwin. Steer Darwin to pick up canisters. Manual says. Renegades have taken the plutonium to their fortified weapons manufacturing facility. UEO has determined that the facility is impenetrable, but against Captain Bridger's direct orders, Lucas Wallenzak, I don't know how to pronounce it, I never saw the show, has taken a speeder and Darwin to recover the canisters. Guide Lucas's speeder carefully through the automated cannons, enemy subs, and homing missiles. Darwin can take care of himself, but if the displays at the bottom of the screen show damage to the speeder, watch out. So I don't have to worry about Darwin's health. I have to worry about the speeder only. The cap will skip the court martial and have your hide. That's if you lose life. Uh, Darwin will help you get 20 canisters and get back to the sea quest. If you're successful, maybe you won't get grounded for life. Ha ha ha. Um, you cannot exit, exit this level without Darwin. And then use the control pad to pilot Lucas' speeder. Press the B button to launch a torpedo. Press and hold A to guide Darwin to the canisters. After he picks up a canister, release the A button and Darwin will return to the speeder automatically. Very cool. Welcome, Nansen. The ocean called. They want their game back. <clears throat> that was another, like, subtitle I was thinking about putting on my, uh, 
stream title. I, I went with the C Lab reference. I thought about using like a reference from a very old video game donkey episode. Just say like we go in ocean. Uh, so yeah, first time seeing this new level, which is fun. Where are these canisters? Oh, here's a canister. Uh, get that one. I love that there's no time limits here. Um, okay, so just don't bother, I guess, huh? Oh, what? It's weird. I may be dying a couple times here. Um, I guess I'll skim the top, huh? There's probably no... Can I destroy this thing? Doesn't look like I can destroy their stuff. I can destroy their ships, but I can't destroy, uh... Oh, let's not stay there. There's almost definitely one over here, yep. This isn't so bad. to not just kind of like fire away a little bit. I mean, I know it's not going to destroy these things, but oh wait, that that hit it. Huh. Okay. Probably missed something over here. No. Okay. It's got them already. Oops, that shot. Oops, get out of there. Okay. Good thing these these uh things take a long time to wind up. Very spacious level with not much going on. Definitely saw any craft over there. Pick it up, Darwin. Yikes! Oh, that's homing. That's good to know for next time, since I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it again now. Uh, I wonder where the exit's going to be. Here? Oh my god. Oh, 
<laughs> I don't know if that's just really, really bad timing. I gotta look at that better. Alright, this level's not too bad. I don't know if they respawn. Oh, yep, they do. Okay, so never mind. Doing a lot better with my whole damage. I think I might have hit something. Oh, look at that. He grabbed it on his own. I actually didn't even hold A that time. left. Is that really true? I suppose so. That does anything, but so what's shooting at me? This doesn't look good. Oh shit, okay. Oh, that's an extra life. I got stuck! Alright, so there's a little boss thing in there, which the manual definitely doesn't say anything about. Um, I shot it once, it did not seem to take any damage, and then it grabbed a hold of me and killed me. But at least there's an extra life on the other end of that. Other end of that. Alright. Darwin, let's do it again, huh? Oh, 
I like this better than the cavern level where you have to use the diver. Doesn't take a whole lot to figure out where the safe spots are. Really? spawned so quickly it, it takes a while before you're able to shoot after turning around forget if I am I missing one down here maybe Oh, you can destroy those. You can destroy those too. Sweet. Okay. Just have to be facing them. Oh. Whoops. Don't take too much hull damage. Oh gosh, got myself into a little bit of pickle. Alright, Darwin, mind grabbing that for me, thank you. Can't kill that one for some reason. Okay. So I know how to get through, kind of. Darwin will not budge. I didn't grab the one up. I'm stupid. <clears throat> Let me make sure. I, I'm almost positive the manual doesn't say anything about the boss part. No. Well. There's the good news, I haven't used a continue yet, and there's a very large chance that there are unlimited continues. You know, I might try, just for my own little curiosity. Oh. You can't destroy all of them, you can only destroy some of them. I was going to say, what if I destroyed all of them? 
with that maybe make the uh, that quote unquote boss encounter easier. I'm gonna say no. This is stupid of me. Why did I even try that? Yeah, I can't shoot her from behind. That's what I was trying to do and it wasn't working. Huh. I sworn I blew that one up before. Maybe those have to be destroyed from behind? Blown that up. Oh. oh, that sucks. There's a long delay. I mean long delay after you turn around before you can shoot. So here we go. I'm going to turn to the right. Oh, there we go. That worked out okay. Uh, if you're holding the button. No, that's not it. That, There we go. That was another delay. I don't know what the, the reason behind it is. I guess I don't know how to replicate it, but... Um. Oh shit, I'm missing one. Crap. Those things respawn. I guess it's upwards. I have no health. There it is. Well, let's book it for the extra life. Not like it matters too much because I think there's unlimited uh, continues. Or there's at least a decent amount of continues. Didn't make it. <laughs> the important thing is I learned nothing, right? Mm -hmm.
Well, let's see. All right, one second. Like these homing missile things. Uh, that's what's up here. Okay. All right. Let's hope I can get the extra life here. Over here, is that the idea? Okay, now I'm like in big trouble. So my thought of using the environmental hazards against it did not work. I don't know how to kill this thing so far. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to actually take a restroom break. I'll be right back.
doing okay. Doing alright on this so far. I think it's just um the ends of each level are really interesting. I feel like um I need to defeat that thing so that I can get the uh, electrical fields to be gone. And then that will allow Darwin to come through on the right hand side and uh allow me to beat the level. Cause it does look like there's stuff I'm supposed to you know, places I'm supposed to be. Oh, put some water down. Oh. I went up thinking I had Oh, come on now. Ah! Darwin level is also better from, than the speeder because I can actually do that. I can grab the crap. At the very edge of the screen, unlike the diver. Oh, he shot his missile right at the last second there. Darwin's crushing it by picking these things up on his own. I don't know how to destroy it. I'm getting destroyed, that's for sure. Well, odds are low that I'm going to beat it this time. destroyed it before it's so like what's the if i if i can't figure out how to destroy those things on a regular basis then how can i expect to defeat this boss you know biggest downside of this game is that like I, I learned this so easily and, and it, it just takes a long time to get back to make another attempt at the thing you need to go and do again I think uh, something that'd be awesome is if this game allowed you to choose what order to do the levels in. I think that would be a huge improvement.
make it a lot easier to see. Why is that one destroyed? What happened to that one? This way. Oh no, there it is. Damn it, I can't shoot my missiles fast enough for that. Where did you come from? Okay. Shoot it! Oh my god. frustrating. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> he moves very fast. And my turnaround speed is very slow. And again, I cannot necessarily shoot as soon as I turn around. The times I've shot him doesn't seem like it does anything. I think I need to shoot that eye when it's exposed for that split second, but he moves around so fast. I don't know how to actually time that. Unless I'm completely mistaken on how to actually beat this boss. Which is highly possible. Game gives no indication um, through the manual that there even is a boss, so. Honey. Well, Lisa's able to 
Fuck. At least it at least it dodges my shit at the worst possible time. That's that's always fun. Alright, I got most of my health, so that's okay. That's my escape. I do have to escape out there, I think. Um, I, I, so I still have no idea how to get this guy. Uh, I, just, I don't like the tediousness of doing everything over and over again. Just to die in two seconds to this boss, because I don't know how the heck to do it. I'm getting like no closer to figuring it out. I thought I had something when I was gonna try to like lure it to the electric and you know trap it there. That seemed like a good idea. Um, I don't know. Maybe it is still a good idea. And I thought there was still another one over here that I didn't grab. Yep. Oh, but it's on the way, so. Missing one. Not missing one because there's four in here. I gotta remember there's four in here. I don't know, maybe drawing that thing back over here is a thing to do. Oof, no, we got too much. Oh, was there video video playback problems on on my stream? Or just in your browser, like you were saying yesterday? Hopefully this bit has been recording the entire time. I've only been at it for about an hour, but... Making good progress. I just wish I knew what the heck to do with that guy. I do want to try to lure him out again. Alternate player for Twitch. Firefox extension. 
Huh. I don't know about it at all. Well, I'm glad it's working. Now I just need to figure out a different, uh... Different method for tackling the boss at this level, and we'll both have our problems fixed. There's so many... Oh, I was close. Jesus. What's really frustrating is like I don't know if I'm sh when I'm shooting him if it's actually doing anything. I don't know if it's worthwhile to keep going or what. Yeah, it's a little like the damn level. I think it's less oh less infuriating than that. Um, oh come on! Although I just took hull damage from that little. Drop to the sea floor, which is stupid. I'm just having a difficult time reconciling the, the speed of my ship versus the speed of that ship, and also just trying to understand what it is I'm supposed to do with it. Yeah, minus the seaweed. There does have that, you know, there is that one electrical barrier.
Oh, that was too much on top of that thing. If I can get through most of this level without getting damage. I just wish I knew how to destroy these things. I think that would inform a lot of my... Darwin, it would be great if you could just like pick up a thing while I'm trying to avoid these. Ugh, it just takes forever. Like I turn around and I can't shoot right away. I don't know why. Oh, I wasn't expecting there to be two of them. The homing missiles are the worst part. See, I'm, I can't get I can't get away from him and then also shoot him before he's on my ass again. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> you throw electricity into the water, it's just going to electrify the entire thing, right? There's probably some BS name for it in the show. So it's not like you know, an electrical charge, it's some other random science fiction -y element that they can uh, just explain away. Well, I gotta say, I'm annoyed by this boss and I don't know what to do about him. I do think I'm gonna try to corner him again. Missed one, I think. Oh, well, could have sworn I had to have eleven by the time I got through this. Maybe that's number eleven. Yeah, it's plasma or like neon cannons or some other just, you know, they'll just make up a new form of weapon.
Uh. <laughs> you think this is the worst music in a video game ever? I don't know. I think it's fine. It's not great, but it's, you know... It's not gray ting. Oh yeah, I was looking up that company, the uh, Unexpected Development, and I was wrong. I thought they were doing the bad games, but I remembered, uh, I saw the list and, and saw that uh, the reason I recognized their name is from the uh, PGA European Tour and um, some other game I had recently played of theirs too. Basically not Superman and not Iron Man like I was thinking originally. I don't remember if you said that, that same composer was doing the uh, the golf games or not. Spawn the other one? Guess so. He is the same composer? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna still try to bottleneck this guy again. Sound like it actually hit. My god, it doesn't matter. Ugh. Basically infinite lives, yeah. But there's also I think infinite continues. I didn't play long enough to to know for sure if it they run out, so God. It's just such a departure from the rest of the level. And it goes, you can, like, your health goes so quick. Because if he touches you, you're spinning out of control. I don't know if you notice that on the, on the, the screen, but if he touches you, your the ship just goes... in all kinds of different directions. And so you can do a lot of damage very, very quickly. Whoops.
And then he can shoot from the four corners and he can shoot straight ahead or behind him. And so it, there's no like good safe space to go. And you have the stupid other downside of having to uh, move away from him because he is so much faster than you. Like, I just don't think there's a good way... I was trying to see if, like, is there a way to turn around without moving, but I don't think there is. Oh my god, I got so much wrong with what just happened there. What's going to add some points for this game? <laughs> the, uh, the Infinite Continues part, I think, will definitely be a big, big bonus. I think that's what you're referring to. I just wish I could, like, shoot as soon as I turn around all the time. It just only happens sometimes. I have no idea why. Shit. There we go, never mind. It's only in limited continues if you actually get a chance to continue, right? Speedrunner in no time. If, if for whatever reason, oh yeah, accidentally pressing the wrong button would be bad. I've done that before on some other games. I did that on Tetris 2 after playing for 8 hours and getting to, you know, like the last couple, uh, couple levels. I hit the wrong button. And so I had to do it another night because there was no way I could do 50 levels... That was, uh, that was a deflating experience when, when that happened. Um, okay, so the diver is actually Darwin, your dolphin. The sentient talking dolphin. Well, I guess all dolphins are sentient, right? Um, so if you hold, uh, if you hold A, you control Dol- you control, yeah, Darwin, but not your ship. And then otherwise he just moves around on his own. So sometimes he'll pick up the stuff on his own, but most of the time you'll have to use A to grab it. So he, he just follows you and kind of like searches for stuff, but um, if he's not doing it the way you want, then you have the A button to help you out. And then if you get separated too much, then he'll just kind of appear magically. So like here, if I skim the bottom, yeah, he'll grab that for me. So sometimes I can just kind of 
maneuver my ship around stuff. Oh, shoot. That was a fast shot. See, I'm like trying to hit him, but he's hitting me with his stupid gun before I can even get a shot off. I hit him once, I think. I heard a oomph. He just has too many options. He has too many options to, like, attack me. Like, I wouldn't mind playing some of the other levels and coming back to this one, but I don't have that option. You can't leave and try again later. You have to just do it until you do it. Yeah, those he usually just grabs on his own. And thankfully, he's impervious to bullets. All right, I'm sure there's like a good tactic for beating this guy, and I just don't know what it is yet. I'm trying to like stay kind of steady enough to actually shoot him. So, yeah, I can't like line up with it very easily. You know? Got him once. It's just not fair. By the time I get back to where I... I knew I was screwed, so I just kind of went with it. I think part of it is, like, the eye... I need to make sure that the eye doesn't know where I am. And that's really difficult because I don't know, I don't know how to manipulate that. So it did look like he was going slower at the end there. Because I was out of his field of vision, but I don't know how to, I'm not sure how to 
change that yet. Possible progress, though. Oops. Darwin just kind of appeared there. You can hear me smashing the damn B button to attack and then no goddamn fucking missile comes out because for some reason it just doesn't I don't know like if I'm out in the wild I can turn around and shoot like almost instantly sometimes that was the earliest I could do at that time that's the earliest I could do at that time now it's instant now it's instant but if you're like moving and trying to do it It just seems like a total freaking crap shoot. If the torpedoes were a little bit more consistent, I think I'd have a. Uh... better time at this level. I think it's, yeah, I think it's too many boss mechanics in a sense. It's, it's too fast. It can shoot from way too many directions. And then it has like this ability to freeze you. And add to it the torpedo problems of not being able to actually, you know, shoot as quickly as you want to, as it, or as the button presses are telling me that I'm doing. It's making for a much more difficult fight. I was kind of able to despawn that first, uh...
See there, I'm trying to turn around and shoot, but guess what isn't working. There we go. Alright, I have like full health, which is great, but... Shoot. Turn and shoot. Nope. Sure can't. Now he's on my ass. Can't even try it. Oh, that one went off. I hit him right in the eye, but it wasn't open because it was the wrong side, so... touches you, you're just frozen. You're just frozen in place. Ugh, sorry, I'm gonna... I'm gonna mute myself and eat a snack while I go through this level very slowly.
All right, well, that sucked. I tried to get underneath the guy, and he just uh, touched me and froze me and killed me. <clears throat> yeah, I appreciate you withholding spoilers on the, uh, the Paper Mario. I do want to go through those at some point. I'm going to do the um, Mario RPG, which I know is not connected, but, you know, closest we get. Um, I'm still hoping to play that this year at some point. Maybe I'll do that after Battle of Olympus. Although I do kind of need to get through Metroid. I don't know. Let's see. Um... I will probably be playing Battle of Olympus again next week. But after I do, uh... After I do Mario RPG, I want to do regular Paper Mario, and then... Thousand Year Door at some point, so... Pretty, pretty soon. And I do think I'll, I'll try to stream those, probably. I don't know, maybe I... It kind of depends. I, I want to stream them, but at the same time, I'm afraid of people spoiling things for me. We'll see. That would be cool. It would be nice to see a new R Mario RPG that isn't, um... Paper Mario. I have not played... Uh, the, well, okay, the only one I've played is Super Paper Mario for Wii, and I didn't get all the way through. I think I maybe quit when I was like two-thirds of the way done, and not because I wasn't enjoying it, just because I had a really nasty habit of just stopping games. You know, if, if I was playing things for a long time... I would want to just try new stuff. And that became tough to do if you're like going through this long, long game. It's one of the reasons why I have an aversion to RPGs in general, I think. But the, oh, come on. These stupid homing missile circle. Worst. Um. And by the time I wanted to get back to Paper Mario, I forgot where it was, what the mechanics were, or anything like that, so I just kind of stopped. Same thing with most Zeldas, you know? Yeah, there's a no-spoilers tag. I, I do the no-backseating, which is, I think, something that is a residual. I don't know if... At one point, they got rid of, like, the no-spoilers or no-hints tag, and then they brought it back. I just saw that Twitch is going to be allowing uh, people to include, like, twice as many tags very soon. So, yay. I mean, honestly, that, that might help a little bit. Come on, you little piece of shit boss. I think I hit him. Good god, he can just, like, doesn't matter where I go. He can just shoot the fuck out of me. I'm just trying to get away, and he has an answer for everything. No checkpoints in the levels is really hurting this too. I've I abandoned like almost all the Zelda games. I got, you know, like two thirds of the way in and then I just stopped. Because I wanted to play something different. 
I was playing too much Zelda in one go. And I just... Didn't go back to him. So... I was waiting forever for that shot to come through, and then it finally did, and it hit me. I'm getting really annoyed with this level. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to get back into Chrono Trigger right now, which I don't, God, I don't know anything about where I was in that game or how much game is even possibly left. If you were to ask me where I am, I couldn't even really tell you. I'm at a spot where I just defeated a different boss. I don't know. I don't know the boss's name. I, I don't know anything about the story. I'm like really, I'm doing it just to finish it and be like yep i finally beat chrono trigger and then i'll watch on youtube somebody doing it well because it's it's a game that i used to play when i was on plane rides only on plane rides and those happen very sporadically so every time i picked up the game i'm like i don't know where i need to go i don't know what's happening anymore um So, then, you know, plane rides stopped for years, so, uh, I'm trying to pick it up again after basically three years of not playing it. Hey, Lord Avanth, how are you? We're just talking about all these stupid, um, stupid mental blocks that cause us to abandon games. And how annoying this boss is at the end of this level. Here's what I'm going to try to do this time. I'm going to try to do something slightly different. God, I... <clears throat> By the time the game lets me get a shot off, it's already like out of position and I have to move again. I'm gonna try not going for Darester Life right away because I know I can get to it. And like maybe I can. Nope, that was a bad idea. I thought, okay, well maybe I can get a shot off on him. God! This... Shot. Oh, I hit him. Didn't matter. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> Almost beat Chrono Trigger. Yeah, it, it, like, I, I'm, I'm just kind of like going where enemies are in Chrono Trigger right now. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm, I, I know there's like multiple endings and I don't know what would trigger the multiple endings or anything and I don't really want to know before I beat it anyway. But it's it's one of those things where I know I can travel to different time periods right now if I wanted to, but I'm not because I know I can do other stuff in the time period I'm in and I don't want to just kind of like explore multiple versions of the world and waste a bunch of time doing possibly nothing of value. So it's... I enjoy the game for what it is. I just did not give it a good shot because of my own circumstances and decisions of how to play it and win. But I can, I can totally understand why people love it. Because I, I do enjoy what I'm playing. I just have no clue what the heck is going on. 
going through the motions. This game, on the other hand, is fun when you know what to do. But frustrating when you don't. That's my mentality going into this year. Is like, okay, there are a lot of games that I plan to beat eventually. Let's start doing that. Let's try to make that a reality. So yeah. Um, gonna finish off Psychonauts this week. We'll get back to Battle of Olympus next week. Um, probably will not be battle with this next week. That'll be at night time, late night. I'll still do Game Boy during my normal streaming hours, uh, but after, you know, like 10 p.m. or so, I'll do some late night streams, do Battle of Olympus. Oh good, it shot before I tried to turn. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, how fun. Happy. Happy day. Yeah. The other one I really want to try is Live Alive. I think that's how you pronounce it. That one looks like it'd be an RPG that I could handle and would be up in my alley. And also the separate stories aspect of it I think will be easier for me to uh, navigate. I guess a little bit too soon. I think I got him. Fuck! All of his shots are, like, directed where I need to go to get away from him, of course. That might be a way to do it, though. Try to get more, more up and down rather than circular. Because it almost seems like he's following my path in a way. I know one thing for sure, I'm not going to be beating 50 Game Boy games in a calendar year this year. I think it's probably far too late for that. I will need to have a lot of luck. Oh, by the way, Lord Evans, that is a new poll. I don't know if you've seen the, the link come through yet, but it is a new poll for a sports and a puzzle game. We surprisingly don't have any platform action picks for a little while. It's very puzzle heavy after game 125 hits. We got all three of our puzzle games within the first 10 games. I know that probably doesn't make much sense, but basically I group everything in batches of 25, and so there's three puzzle games for each batch of 25 games that I play in between milestones. And then I randomize the genres. Um, up until uh, I come across a list that does not have three of anything in a row. So, yeah. Little method to the madness. And it turned out that this time all the puzzle games are front-loaded. Oh, it's not quitter talk, it's it's just realistic at this point. I'll definitely try. I think I've, I've just had a couple long games kind of uh, get in the way. 
So unless I can, you know, manage to really s scream through a few. Um, but having the three puzzle games so so early like this is actually going to hurt my ability because those are usually pretty long. And we got a sports game mixed in there. Those can those can sometimes be pretty difficult and time consuming. Yeah, having wave race uh Harvest Moon. What was the other long one I had? Was not the right passing. It was not the right pass at all. Welcome, Trickia. How you doing? Uh, the quest of the sea has hit a very difficult patch. We are in turbulent waters, choppy waves. Um, this level is easy until you get to the boss, and then I have no clue how to beat the boss, or if I'm even doing anything right with the boss. It could be that everything I'm thinking is hitting it is actually not. I'm doing no damage at all, and I'm just spinning my wheels, or rotors, whatever you want to call them. But yeah. Oh, and Tricky, that is a uh, viewer vote. I don't think you've voted in a poll yet, but you can if you want to follow that link. It'll lead to a form that allows you to vote for future games. It's open to everybody, including lurkers, who may be watching. And then I'll run the results of that poll after I beat Pinball Dreams. Which I'll hopefully get to next week, if I can beat this one tonight. If I can't beat this one tonight, then I've gotten a lot of practice in. So this is Darwin, in case uh, nobody can tell. This guy up here. That's Darwin. He's helping me collect canisters. I can sometimes control him. If I choose to control him. But then my ship can't move if I do. But I beat the level that I was having trouble with last night, so that's that's a big plus. Um, I think after this level, there's maybe two more, at least that I know of. God, couldn't shoot the stupid torpedo. That's the worst part about this. It's like you turn around and it's like a three second delay before you can actually shoot your torpedo. Annoys me. All right, so this thing's an extra life, so that helps a lot. They have too many powerful shots.
Yes! Holy shit. Alright, finally got him. Uh, so... Darwin, can you come here? Where are you, Darwin? I can't leave the level without Darwin. But how do I destroy this force field now? follow me through now. Dude, thank you. Holy shit, okay. The one good thing about this game. Hey, Chino, how are you? <laughs> uh, no, I have not won. I have beaten that level. That's what I have done. Big hole damage there. Sequest looks like it's bigger than it was before. Maybe it's just because I'm used to the smaller ship now. I bet you there's ways. Oh man, I gotta do I gotta do the powers. Station thing again. Ah, oh, so close. This one's harder too. Distance target, whatever the heck. Uh, I gotta go away. Oh, that doesn't help my hole. All the way back. I think with enough practice, honestly, I could. There's a couple levels that give you extra lives, so... Would I want to one-credit this? No. I bet you I could. With enough practice, I could. I'm glad I don't have to. Closer. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Hey! Oh, maybe that's what's supposed to happen. Alert! Sabotars are aboard the Sequest. They are trying to plant bombs, dispose of the bombs in airlocks, capture the saboteurs, and listen for the sound codes to disarm the self destruct mechanism. Interesting. Okay, give me a second here. I'm going to take a quick uh, restroom break again, and I'll be right back and we'll play this next level.
All right. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what the manual says about this specific one. We got uh, mission five. Yeah. So it should just be sabotage, and then renegades is the last one. I hope, unless there's another sabotage level. Sabotage. I'm sorry, another meltdown level. The meltdown is the shooter level. Okay, mission six, sabotage. Commander Ford to the torpedo bays. Security monitors show seven saboteurs planting bombs and activating a timer to detonate the Sequest's torpedo stores. Use the security stun panels to stun and catch the renegades. Small bombs must be carried to and disposed of in one of the airlocks. Security displays at the bottom of the screen show the health of Commander Ford and damage taken to the Sequest as bombs detonate. Somewhere in the torpedo bay is a timer showing a countdown until the torpedoes blow. Act sharp. If the torpedo bays flood, the Sequest goes down. Use the control pad to move Commander Ford around the torpedo bay. Carry small bombs to an airlock, then press up to dispose of the bomb. Press the A button to jump when in front of a security panel. Press up to face the panel, then press the B button to stun renegades when they are on a stun tile or under a stun gun. Capture the renegades while they are stunned. Each saboteur carries one piece of the sound code. You'll need four sounds to break the combination and defuse the time bomb. Wow, this is complex, but interesting. Face the panel and press select to cycle through the sounds. Press the B button to select one of the sounds. Okay, that's a lot more than what this instruction thing says. <clears throat> this is a intricate game. All right. I'm this guy. Whoa. Oh, that's the sun panel. Okay, come on over here. Does it have to match? Oh, it does have to match. There we go. Then I come over here. No, you gotta be... Okay, I thought the game froze. All right, sorry. Let me look at this. Um, where are the small bombs? They're not with the saboteurs. The saboteurs will have the pieces, the code. Okay. I was so afraid that the game froze. There's the bomb. Um, that's nothing. I got some hops. This music is not good. Where's the stun gun? Gotcha. No, he's unstunned already? One of the things went off, I see. How do I get down there? How does that go through walls? Uh 
Oh, that's bad. All right. Same engine as the Beethoven second <laughs> with slight magnifications to jumping in speed. That is one that did not come out on original Game Boy. Come here. Come here. I know you're coming. Gotta have fast. Come on. Come back this way. Hey. Come on. What? Uh, what? He disappeared? He just disappeared. Watch, he'll be back now. Are you around yet? Where'd you go? Come on. Over here. He's just despawning. That doesn't help me at all. Oh, okay, that bomb blew up. I don't... okay. these jokers I swear I saw them did that get um that wasn't a Game Boy Color it was just uh That's, that's scary right there. I don't like this. Ugh! The jumping mechanics are really bad. <laughs> get Let's get back to underwater. Plan for the US market. Prototype exists. Game was actually released in Europe. Oh. Hmm. Well, get to dumping. Yeah, I saw that on the list when I was looking up the uh, the developer. I saw they had the the golf games, and then they had the um, Beethoven on there. Didn't blow up that time. Cool. Alright, well, something bad happened. Oh, come on. What the fuck is this jumping? Of course I got destroyed. I can't even jump properly sometimes. Alright, well... Yep. This is... This is bad. <laughs> Interesting concept. Very, very bad. I... Okay, good, good. You have very, very little control over your jumps.
It's super floaty. And the momentum is not what you would expect at all. Four thirty one. Whoa, what was that? Oh, did I die? Because I didn't have. Okay, that's where I enter the code, and I don't have all parts of the code. That is such a. I, I don't know how to work that mechanic yet. I think he probably just despawned. Good thing there's like continues in this, right? All right, Nansen, have a good night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope I can beat this tonight. I don't know for sure if I'm going to be able to. So we're at 426. Right, here's an airlock. I don't know how to control this gun. Yeah, I know how to shoot it. Something bad's happening. We need to get back up. Oh god, okay. No! Oh, I had all things. I had all things. I don't know how important the uh, getting the bombs it really is. It, I would not be surprised. Wait a minute. I have to find a specific computer though, or is that the specific? That must be the specific computer. The one with the giant clock on it. Right? That makes sense. If I just need four of these saboteurs. Oh geez. Okay. Am I going somewhere I didn't go before? Alright, so I can get a couple more bombs. Maybe all the bombs kind of explode after a certain amount of time, or they're... Oh, okay, maybe there's like a sequence to the bombs that 
Yeah, there's definitely a sequence to the bombs. Okay. my clock. I need one more uh, guy. Let me pause for a second. Let me review the manual again. This does not explain things at all on the pause screen. <clears throat> Somewhere in the torpedo bay is a timer showing a countdown until the torpedoes blow. <clears throat> so I think that's where that is. Capture the renegades while they are stunned. Each saboteur carries one piece of the sound code. You'll need four sounds to break the combination and defuse the time bomb. Face the panel and press select to cycle through the sounds. Press the B button to select one of the sounds. So, we're going to face the panel. What? Ah, oh, this sounded right to me. I have to pay much more attention to this. Okay, I understand how that goes, though. Okay. So it's a single do dupes. Do I get to go the other way again? So I need to go the other way. There goes all those bombs. Alright, that guy's gone. Oh no, he's back. So singles, both times singles so far.
singles and then a tr One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, I thought it was a do do do. Man, I shouldn't be this bad at this. I hope this is all I need to do. He's gonna be all stunned. Okay. That's a two. Do do do. I don't know how much I need to actually like save the ship, you know what I mean? Uh, I think if I just defuse a couple bombs and get the, the code in time, then that's okay. But I don't know, because I haven't gotten that far. I don't know why I can't make that jump. Oh. Now we start over. So it's a two. Do do do. I can't believe they didn't shoot again. Come on now. There we go. Okay. So it's a two and then a one.
on Disarmed. Nope. Last level. Alright. Get to the enemy base control center, throw the self-destruct switch, and escape. Let's go ahead and see what the... Uh... It's so weird that Sequest last two levels are land-based. Um, Renegades. The Sequest has located the base where the Renegades have been stockpiling plutonium. Captain Bridger has infiltrated the base through his submarine dock. The captain is armed with a stun gun, but is likely to encounter heavy opposition from the Renegades, who may move the canisters to make uh, them hard to find. A display at the bottom of the screen shows Bridger's health. Help Bridger find 29 canisters of radioactive material. Activate the self-destruct mechanism in the enemy base control room and escape before the base is destroyed. Jeez, Cap, and you chewed Lucas out for that dangerous stunt with the speeder? Use the control pad to move the captain through the base, up and down ladders and across bridges. Jump with the A button, press the B button to fire the stun gun. When in front of the control panel, press up to extend or retract movable bridges. All right, well, at least I don't think there's a timer. At least not until I uh, do the whole self-destruct thing. So what are these canisters going to look like? Uh, uh, what's safe? Okay. That, that might be where I need to go to leave. It says I can retract it, which I'm assuming I need to do there. So I can fall down the hole easier. And, uh, you know, escape. How far does this go? Okay. Oh, I got hit. That's just my first hit. That's not bad. The, all the red in this is making it hard to see. Like, I, you know, I didn't notice that gun at first. So 
Such a vertical level. Not even anything over there. I had no reason to even look. You, I see them. And I see their back. Alright. Oh my goodness. It keeps going up. Where are you? Oh, you throw heat seekers at me, huh? Whoops. Oh, well, that worked out. Wonder why I've missed down below so far. What the heck? Okay. I cannot go underneath them. This would be kind of a uh, backup plan, in a sense. So I do need to grab this one, so let's just do that now, right? And I can like over here. I have a feeling that the uh, the self-destruct thing will be slightly forgiving. I don't know. We'll s maybe I'm wrong about that. Accident. I'm close to the uh, the last one. Some over there. And up there. So there's the self destruct. Let's see, how many can I see from here? None there. Looks like a car. Got at least two up here. Can I get up there? Uh, yes, I am, well, a Game Boy, Super Game Boy 2. So yeah, real cartridges, uh, Super Game Boy 2 I am playing. The, uh, the picture you see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, that is the actual cartridge I'm playing right now. I've scanned all of the, uh, all of those. 
So yeah, part of this challenge is I can only play games that I actually own. Don't know how to get up there yet. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. What I thought was a car is really just a step. So there's two things I don't know where they are. I don't want to hit the self-destruct button until I know where they are. So let's go back through the level. I think that's pretty much going to be my path, right? It's just doing that thing. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's going to make certain games very, very difficult, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um... If I really have a lot of problems with the game, I can always practice on an emulator off-stream and then uh, do it for real once I'm confident, you know? I did that once or twice already. I did, um... Early on, I did Micro Machines that way. I've also used Emulator to, oops, determine whether or not um, there are alternate endings I need to go for. Oh, I don't think I've been over here. Here they are. Now we can go back. This game may be done very soon. Assuming I don't have to worry about taking too many hits. Um, oops. Well, now I have to go through this again. Okay, well, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I have to go through the whole thing again, probably. This one I think I need to have open for now, so I can get up here. Okay, moment of truth. How far does this little thing go? Oh, that's not fun. Okay, exit base now. No problem. You got it. <laughs> figures, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, well, I had plenty of time. I just didn't... Okay. <sighs> Lesson learned. Here's what I can do. When I get up there, that's where I definitely need to exit, right? So, um... Oh! Hello, friend. Let's keep that done and then once i hit this bottom then i just run to the run to the i guess right here this might be the actual exit i'll, I'll try running here first um and then if that doesn't work then i'll go to the right and drop down but we will keep that done
I'm getting hit too much. Oh, I'm not jumping enough. Well, that could have been a lot worse, though. I'm glad the enemies don't respawn, except for this thing. Man, still taking too many hits, though. So yeah, like now that I have that, I'll just keep it undone. Grab these two over here that I forgot last time. Damn. And again, I can undo that one now. I still got hit by that. close. Um, I'll leave that one close for now. Wow, jerk, okay. Never mind, I'll keep it open. Okay, so I can't jump off of a ladder specifically. I have to go over this way first. need this one? Yeah, for now. So I need to come up here. And then drop down, and then climb again, and then do it. Okay. Okay. No, I think we're good. Um, and then I can... Uh, 
I'll extend this one out because that's this is the start of an annoying section. along with the annoying music. So I just have to get past the, uh, the energy field. And then I can come around and get the self to start button and we're good. It get hit, but what have been worse. You're here for screen flashing. We've destroyed the enemy base. The renegades are attempting to escape in their battle sub. Pursue and destroy. Okay, so we're not fully done. There's nothing in the uh, manual about this specifically. So let's hope this is an easy battle. Ooh. Uh, yeah, they killed me instantly. Well, there's no other enemies. Of course, they're like right at the end, I'm sure. Okay. Hit start. Yeah, I don't have some of this stuff anymore. I don't have a. I, I can't do select. I can't hit A. So I just have to reach him. be a war. At least I still got, you know, the unlimited continues and whatnot, so. Gotta be getting close, right? I wish I did have sonar so I knew how close I was getting. So you hold B to make the torpedoes go up a little bit. Go that far away?
He was right near me before. Come on now. What the hell? Did he despawn and like re reappear at the very beginning of the base thing again? I'm confused. Like, all I did was go down to avoid his attack. And he went over me, right? He didn't go back the other way. Try my best to use landmarks, but again, I don't know where he might appear, because maybe he'll be right at the end again, but maybe he won't. I would think that if something wrong happened, the game would correct it. There he is. Okay. Jesus, he hurt me a lot there. Is he gone again? fast. I wish I didn't have to start at the very beginning of the whole entire stage just to get towards him. It's a lot of wasted time. So does his health reset when that happens? I am unsure. Cat pals. Oh, 
Fuck, man. Such a non-maneuverable ship. Now, if his health is resetting, then then I'm not in a good position, but... Come on. I think I got him. Yes, I did. All right. Congratulations, Sequest. You've recovered the plutonium canisters and destroyed the renegade forces. The UEO extends its gratitude for restoring peace to the world's oceans. Yay. <laughs> Good job, Sequest. <laughs> it looks like I just got stuck. <laughs> Not docked or anything, I'm just like stuck, you know? <laughs> Yay! Alright, so I think it's probably just gonna keep doing that over and over again. Yeah, alright, let's, uh, let's hit A, see if anything happens. Nope. B. No. Start. Nope. Select, no, that's it. That's where it ends. We're going to stop the timer right there. About six hours. It probably would have been a little bit less if I would have um, known there were... Um, ooh, excuse me. If I would have known there was unlimited continues. But whatever. Uh, the, the important thing is we got there. We got there together. <laughs> that was a fun game. It was interesting. It was varied. It could be better. Um, choose any level, have some of the levels move a little bit faster, uh, yeah, a little bit of control issues with the jumping, but overall, that was a fun one. So thank you very much for watching Sequest DSV.